Everybody has their shoes out in the hallway for Santa to put something in their shoes. So that's why you see there's a pair of shoes at every entrance. Every doorway has a issue of some sort waiting to be filled. Look. This one here is Emerson's, I know, because that's his clock. And this is my room. Mine and Pam's, that's Pam's clock. And that's mine's clock. So there we go. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. Uh, today, I'm biking, and my parents are touring somewhere. Heidelberg, they're touring Heidelberg. I'm going on a 21 mile bike uh, to and from a city, which will be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. But before we get too far into that, I want to go back. If you remember last video, uh, at the end, we put our shoes outside of the doors. So now it's the morning and we're going to go check on those. What do we get? Some uh, white milk chocolate. Some little chocolate Santas. And I have one of these in my room too. We decided to put our Dutch clogs out because, you know, how could we not? We have them. You gotta use them. Anyways, guys, let's get into the rest of the video today. All right, we are in Heidelberg this morning, and he just got me today. Um, Emerson is going on a bike tour of the city, so he's got his own filming gear, so hopefully we get footage from him. Uh, Pam is not feeling well, so she's staying behind and getting some rest, so let's go. and tour the city and see what this city has to offer it looks like this city has a lot of industry all oh, these buildings look very industrial up and down the river here they look like warehouses Because it's the sunnier side. Today there's no That's the old town of Heidelberg down below. This is the castle. <clears throat> so I am on the tour which is a group tour so I'm gonna do little snippets of information as we go along because we're starting off here at the castle and then going to the lower section which is the old town of Heidelberg uh, we started off in Ludwig Hafen or Ludwig L Ludwig Hassen or something like that that's the lower part of the state where there's a lot of manufacturing and a lot of uh, mu uh, factories, smokestacks. The largest chemical manufacturing is down there, BASF. Now we're up here at the castle, very old castle, with the wall that's fallen down on that end of the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
It was only in the next war of the same century where this happened. A French mine destroyed this tower. And actually, what they say is that the mine was placed here in 1689, but exploded only four years later mm. and left this like this. And at the moment, the tower is not accessible because there's a bad colony here. You know, they breed here and they are protected in Germany. Okay. Walk in downtown Heidelberg on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody, 2023. And you can see these remnants of Christmas market. Everything is closed today. There's a few things here and there that are open, a few restaurants, but mostly everybody's at home with their families enjoying Christmas. There's the castle up here. So this is the city hall of Eidelberg. Uh, city hall. Is that building? And that there is the Holy Ghost Church. I don't think anybody's working at. The boats are not allowed uh, to dock in Heidelberg. The uh, cruise boats, because they're too big for the locks that they have here, they have very tiny locks, so the boats the boats don't fit. So we ended up in the ugliest part of the country, because uh, there's a lot of factories manufacturing uh, down the Rhine River Valley. So, but today it's just me. Emerson is doing a bike tour. Pamela is not feeling well. So I am here exploring by myself. Uh, and I will try to show you as much as I can of this beautiful uh, town. They have a Christmas tree there, it's not lit. But it's beautiful here. Um, small shops, beautiful statues, stars everywhere. And I'm also in the middle of the road, so I'm going to move away so that traffic can flow. You can see the road down there. Ah, check out the balcony. Nice, whatever you call that thing. But all the structures here look like that. I don't know how old these structures are, because of World War II, everything was bombed in Germany. Maybe these were reconstructed, but it's beautiful. Look at that view. And you have the castle up ahead on top there. And on this side, you have more of the city. So we're gonna go this way. This is nice and open. We gotta drop breadcrumbs around here because we need to find us our way back to the meeting point. So look at this place. It's gonna be very hard to find anything that's open today because it's Christmas day. So, but we will browse the shops and look around.
the few shops that are open. You should look around like that bistro there. Bistro and bar, that's open. If you want to get a little something to eat. But the majority of the big shops and everything jewelry shops are closed. I don't know what this shop is, but they have a cool Santa. It looks like they sell sunglasses. And the next one has that image. Pretty cool, if I may say so myself. Good idea. <laughs> But I'm going to try to make our way down and see what else is uh, being displayed on the streets here. That's what? <laughs> Say hello. Well, hello. Merry Christmas. Well, happy Christmas. <laughs> Joyeux Noël. Feliz la vida. There uh, you go. Where you? Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Yeah. Do um, you like the camera? Uh, I come from Algerian. Oh, Algerian. you're Algerian. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. There you go. <laughs> Good to see you, man. <laughs> Sorry. Very friendly people on the street here. So, as we go and walk around here, let's see what else we can see. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Assalamu alaikum. So, another tower. There's a lot of towers here. I gotta try not to get confused because that's the tower that's important because that's my landmark for going back. Hello. So, as long as I know where that is, I can make my, my way back. I just need to pay attention to the time. So, Emerson is biking, as I mentioned and we'll take this opportunity to cut away and see what the young man is doing on the bikes all right guys so i have you today uh, we're gonna be biking around we got a 21 mile bike i believe it is should be a good time i got a gopro on my chest for some fpv footage uh should be interesting i don't really have a lot more to say about it except for that's my bike and our leader, our trusty leader. Should be a good time. But this town is adorable. Like there's just so much cool stuff here. So they got the big ass Mercedes logo right back there. Interesting story about Mercedes. Mercedes had literally nothing to do with it. It was initially Daimler Benz because Carl Benz and some other Daimler guy whose first name I don't remember um, started the company. And then I think one of their girlfriends or daughters or wife, some woman, uh, was driving their cars and it was the wife of like one of the racing drivers i think um, and they named the car after her, mercedes and the name has stuck around till today so i think that's pretty cool fun it's fun that i have you guys now you guys are at the mercy of me which means i have to do what i always do hey like and subscribe do it do it i can see you not doing it I minimize the video Scroll down, there you go, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, maybe even hit the bell icon if you're feeling it. Did you do it? Okay, thank you, I appreciate it, I, re I really appreciate it. Alright, back into the video. Let's see what uh, my parents are up to.
So we're going to end this walking tour with a visit to one of these small Christmas markets that they have here. They're not really open. I think just the decorations that are around and a few vendors that are left. Uh, but other than that, there's not much going on here in the town because all the locals are enjoying Christmas at home, as they should, because it is Christmas Day after all. So, if you're expecting to see more today, now you can tour the uh, towns and look around. So, and 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 that's that's one of the things about this marketing things to Europe to go see Christmas markets. You know, the later you go in the season closer to Christmas, you're only gonna see a few because most of them are closed, like on the 23rd, 24th, because it's close to Christmas and the families must take time off to go spend time together. So most of them are gonna be closed. you best booking it early, like a week, maybe two weeks before Christmas to enjoy the markets fully. Um, because then you can hit all the large markets that are open um, to the public without, you know, interruption of any kind. If you want to enjoy the Christmas markets, you book early. As I said, later in the season, like today is Christmas. Yesterday was the 24th, and on the 23rd um, was the only Christmas market we could see in uh, Cologne was the only one and that was that was a small one and the next time we visited they had no markets and this one here in Heidelberg yeah, there's a few things here and there that you can see not much and the one in Strasbourg which is supposed to be the largest one is not gonna be open when we get there because you know it's after Christmas so what can you do there we'll enjoy what we have and we'll show you what we have, like this beautiful scene right here. We walked by this earlier. This is the church of the Holy Ghost that we walked by earlier. And that's the town hall with the uh, Christmas tree in the front. So we're gonna go right up ahead over here and see what we can see in these Christmas markets because I walked by earlier and didn't visit. I wanted to go up further back and see what was there. Since I'm, a, I'm by myself today, I could make a quick walk of the town and show you what we have. And I'm afraid it's going to be a short video today because there's not really much happening in this town. Not a whole lot. But it's a pleasure for me to take this video and share with you for those of you who are planning to do uh, European Christmas markets maybe next year or sometime in the future you can use this as a blueprint if you like uh, to plan yours or feel free to drop me a comment down below if you need further information I'll share with you my itinerary or the person that plans my or shall I say the person that plans our trips uh, so anyway here are some of the Markets right ahead of me.
first there's always a defender somewhere and there it is two jumps in the back all right that's it i'm gonna go wait for my group to arrive and then we walk into the bus we got about another 30 minutes i believe for the meeting point and then we meet at the bus we go walk to the bus bus leaves at five <laughs> 